and we're back. So, Kristen's ideas are sizzling now. <laughs> I have to tell you though, she's mad that I told the story about not touching your penis or vagina after cutting peppers. She's like, I would have said that you should not touch your eye. You shouldn't touch your eye either. But especially don't touch As Gloria, <laughs> I told him. Especially don't touch your genitals after after touching any kind of a spicy pepper. So I think those fajitas are looking pretty good. Let's break it open. Best way to do it is just to break open a piece of the chicken to uh, see. You only have to cook them for about until the chicken's cooked. So about say eight minutes, eight to ten minutes or so. You only have to cook them until the chicken's cooked. Or until the chicken's cooked. <laughs> so any any anyway. Yeah, okay, that chicken's cooked. Yeah. All the, all the juices are all the juices are kinda <laughs> She's totally disgusted that I just threw that piece of chicken back in there. It wasn't in my mouth or anything. Anyway, okay. so I'm going to put it in there. Yeah, so put that into there to keep it nice and warm. And then after Kristen, after we put that into there, we're going to make the Mexican corn on the cob. <laughs> I don't know how Mexican corn on the cob is, or how Mexican this recipe for corn on the cob is, but it's, it's just going to have to do for today. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so the guacamole is done. That was really fast. Um, fajitas are done. And now, as well. we're going to do corn on the cob. So get that platter over there. Now, Kristen doesn't like butter, and the reason why she doesn't like butter, she apparently she ne hadn't never liked butter since she was like a baby. But it didn't help that her brothers <laughs> would tease her around the house and then hold her down and make her eat butter. <laughs> it was pretty gross. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, brothers. Yeah. I don't like butter, margarine, anything that has to do with it. My butter is mayonnaise. <laughs> and obviously, you can tell that. But. Butter is gross and I smell. didn't say it that time. Did you know that she said it? I <laughs> However, I, I do as I'm now that I'm an adult and I do like to cook and bake. I do cook with butter and bake with butter. I just can't actually taste yes, it. Yes, one time she was make, so making corn. apple pies <laughs> and she calls me into the room. She'd be like, look it, I'm touching butter. Look! Because it really was a big step for her. But anyway, but we, I just can't have the taste. So we're gonna make corn on the cob and but we digress. So we're gonna make corn on the cob and instead of you putting butter on it, I have this. It's a uh, cocoa chili oil. So it's a chili oil and it has chocolate in it. I think. Cocoa, yeah. Cocoa beans. Yeah, and cocoa beans chili. Juice. So that's chocolate, right? Yeah. Oh, hotel chocolate. Yeah. Okay, it has chocolate in it. So instead of butter, we're gonna drizzle the uh, corn on the cob with that and then put all the toppings on it. So let's get the corn on the cob out of the water. Now we boiled it in salted water for again eight to ten minutes. Usually you can take it out when the the cobs kind of float to the top. That oh, is that, is that how you take it out? Oh see I, I never knew. I always just boiled it for a little bit. And That's usually what means it's ready. There we go. So, another good way to cook corn on the cob is on the barbecue. Oh, or another good way to cook corn on the cob. Last time, the, oops, the one time, oops, the one time I was in South Africa, um, we went to a dinner party, and uh, it was uh, she had cooked the corn in the oven and put. It's called aromat. I don't know if we actually get it here, but it's like it's. I think it's just MSG. And she sprinkled it with the aromat and baked it in the oven, and it was so good. Yummy. So anyway, for the Mexican corn on the cob, so we boiled our corn, it's all ready to go. Now we're just gonna drizzle it <clears throat> with some of the chili oil. Drizzle it, we'll roll it around a bit. That's now this is gonna be some spicy corn. That's a lot. But I think Mexicans like spicy things. There we go, so we'll roll it around in that. And then to that, we're gonna add 
the leftover jalapenos that we had from the guacamole. Now you could use like a green chili or I mean a jalapeno or like a red chili or any kind of chili you want. And then, now this is the part that I was questioning if it was Mexican because we like our cheese, farm cheese. So you're going to put some farm cheese on top. Like, that looks so good. Oh. <laughs> like I said on the last show, anything's good with cheese. I know. I mean, how can you go wrong? And like I said, anybody who says there's too much cheese on anything is... Got problems. It's stupid. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that looks so good. That does look really good. And just to further, oh, further make it more delicious, a little squeeze of lime over top. All right, so... Let's get this all started. So we got our Mexican corn on the cob. Ready for this? Yeah. Our guacamole, which we are serving with red corn chips. Now you could use any color corn chips. You could use just plain corn chips. But I like the red ones because it looks like a fiesta. <laughs> there we go. Now you can also use this guacamole uh, for, you know, just for dipping or for in the fajitas like we are going to. Can I try one? Yeah, go ahead. Oops, Oops I'm just destroying the house. Don't worry. Mm. Don't worry about me. Very and good. our... <laughs> now earlier also... <laughs> I put... <laughs> I put the... the um, Ooh, that's really good. A little the, bit spicy. The tortillas in the oven. <laughs> to warm them up and about half an hour later Chris and I were standing standing here and I was like oh, it smells really good and Chris was like I don't know I smell that too I'm like somebody must be barbecuing outside it was us <laughs> it was us and about a half an hour after that I was standing in the kitchen and I happened to see the red light on on the stove or on the oven and I was like oh crap I remembered that I put the tortillas in the oven <laughs> And it, that's what we were actually smelling. So if you ever want to like make your home smell like delicious food and have a date, throw some tortillas on the oven. Yeah. <laughs> just throw there some tortillas on the oven. Fortunately, Wish they we knew that when we were single. Fortunately, <laughs> Fortunately, they did survive the hour-long baking in the oven. I'm gonna put those on the plate actually. And now for the piece de resistance or however you would say that in Mexican. I don't know how, but... Spanish. Spanish, pardon me, not Mexican. <laughs> not politically correct on this show, are we? There we go. And I have to say, this happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Our last show was an hour long. What was this, 12 minutes? So, but how fast was that to make this delicious delicious Mexican meal, or Mexican-inspired meal at least, chicken fajitas, guacamole, and, and Mexican-style, Mexican-style corn, corn. corn on the cob. So now that comes the best part, well, I need another beer first. How are you? All right. lines. <laughs> Is your mouth watering again? <laughs> there we go. I don't, it's gonna... <laughs> Alright, so now, actually, so actually, back. actually, before we eat, we're gonna take a really quick break, and we're gonna be back in literally one second, and then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna manger. Okay. Mm -hmm. 